Hello. This is my binary to decimal converter with a display board. So I'm just going to show you how it works. First of all, I've flicked 4. And you can see on my display, it's displaying 4. And now I will add 16 and 8. So we have 28 there. And I will flick all of them down. And if I flick all of them down, I'm going to get 255. There we go. Now, can I show you how this works? So to start with, we'll just put one number in and follow it through. So I'm going to put 16 in. And the 16, we follow this line. Now this long chain of white works a, a double dabble algorithm. And what it does, there's different little units, converter units in here. And this colored part marks the beginning of a converter unit. But you can kind of see the converter units have all these little stripes and extra torches. So within a converter unit, we can assign these lines as having numbers. So I'll just get a sign here. This one right here, you can think of as number one. This is bar two, this is bar four, and this is bar eight. We're working in binary here. So when the number goes in, a light comes in, this is one, and as one, it's just going to go past all the way through, and the output is going to come all the way out as one. Now, this one came out. It's now line two of the next converter unit. So you can see the four lines. We've again got one, two, four, and eight. And it's line two. And how this converter unit works is it's going to pass the message on here. The second bar across is dark. So that's showing us it's line two. And that's going to pass the message to the bottom line. Now, any number under five is going to be passed on direct, exactly as it was received. But a number above five is going to have, um, it's going to have three added to it. So this was line two. It comes out. It's become line four of the next converter unit. And that line becomes line 8 of one more converter unit. So with line 8, what's going to come out is not 8, but 11. So 11 is going to be, here's 8 and 2 and 1 of that converter unit. And what this double dabble, this whole big white section does, is separate the binary into decimal coded binary numbers. So here we have our output 1, 2, 4, and 8. So the 2 line and the 4 line is on, that's 6. So 6 is on, and then we have a line that represents 110, and that is on. So the one lever I pushed on the far end of this was 16, and it's now separated it into 110, and then the 4 and the 2 over there. Here's 2 tens, 4 tens, 8 tens, and this would be 100 and 200 over here. So from here, the lights move into this blue section. This area takes your decimal number, or your, sorry, your binary number, and converts it to decimal. So here we have 6 enter, so the 6th yellow line here is off, and it will come out right there, 6. I've got a NOT gate to switch it to ON, and this part here with the yellow and green tells us which bars we need in a digital display, and it turns those command blocks on. We have a little NOT gate here, 
and a second command block that will erase it once it is turned off. And that the, the second command blocks there I owe to one of my students who pointed out to me how to get it to automatically reset and clear. So here we have the one digit. Here we have the tens digits. It's the same thing copied over here. I just changed the command blocks, shifted all the numbers over. And above here we have the hundreds digits. And I just copied and pasted the whole thing. So I will fly back over here. I'm going to change the 16 to the 64. Let's go through this and see how this one works. I probably should put a repeater there. That looked pretty faint. So here it comes. Now this it's the line that represents 64, but within this converter unit, it is the two line. So it comes out as two, but then it enters the next converter unit as an eight. No, sorry, as a four. And then the third converter unit, it's moved over to an eight. And here, because it's an 8, it's going to come out as 11. So there's 1, 2, so 3 plus 8, that's 11. And those enter as, here is as 6 in that converter unit, and as 1 in the parallel converter unit. And then everything's shifted over again. And on the outside, We have four and we have six here. And it's a little weird looking at the digital display here because we are looking at it backwards. But that is my binary to decimal converter unit with a digital display.